Hi, so welcome to this short video. Um, what we're going to do is just have a look at um, Webony from the perspective of a content author or editor. Um, some people have made a comment on our uh, community that, you know, we talk a lot about the dev stuff, obviously, but um, but it'd be nice to see things from a content author's perspective. Like once the development team, once your engineering team has handed over your new um, your new CMS, then then how do you go about writing content? Um, so I thought we'd just have a little video about that and I hope that's going to be helpful. Um, so when you get your first install, it probably looks something like this. Um, you'll see that there's the three different applications here, page builder, form builder, headless CMS. We're going to focus today on writing content for the headless CMS. Now to write content, you first need somewhere to put the content, um, the structure of it, how it looks, you know, what's going to be called. And that's the, in the in the development terms, that's called a model, a model for your content, right? So we're going to just define that first of all. So you can go to the sidebar here, or you can just click on that button there. But you can choose a new, new choose content models here. Um, see, I've already got one there, which I could just go in and edit if I wanted. But just for the purposes of this demo, I just wanted to create, go ahead and create a new model here. And because I've got posts already, let's just choose pages. Um, I don't need to worry about a group here unless you've been told to, to do something with that. Description doesn't matter so much either, um, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but you can put something in there if, if you think it'll help your, your users. And here we go, let's create our model. Right, so here this interface shows you what different field types you've got, and then shows how it's going to look. Um, so the first thing we need, of course, for, for every page is a title. So I'm just going to drag that field here. Now you'll see this screen has popped up, and that allows us to define what we want from this field, this text field. So yeah, I said it was going to be the title, didn't I? Let's call it that. Um, I don't think a title needs any help text, but you can put something in there or a placeholder. Um, this is my title, for example. Um, so that's that. We could just save the field here, but I just want to show you validators here. Um, validators will check whether or not your title meets certain requirements you set upon it. For example, titles usually a required field, isn't it? All pages must have a title. So let's turn that on. And you can customize the message that shows if it's not filled out. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Unique. No, I don't think we need that. Min length, max, max length. Well, um, we could possibly turn the min length on if we want. Probably about three. I don't know. It's not really that important for a title as long as it's there, I guess. Um, we could also have a pattern, so we could ask um, our authors to to write in a certain pattern, like it's got it's an email or it's a URL or something like that. Um, for a title, I don't think we'll, we'll worry too much about that. Um, so that's that. And save the field. Okay, so there's our title field. And now if I go into this little preview pane, you can see how that's going to look in the content um, um, panel where you're going to write the content. So you can see it's just, here. Just, just give you a little preview of what it is. It doesn't save anything there. All right. So um, that's that. That's the title. So let's just have, um, for example, I want to show you this here. So if you've got a page, not so common with pages, more with posts, but I just wanted to show you this um, field. Now this is going to be featured image. Um, um, and you can restrict this to use images only. Um, of course, you don't want to have somebody try and use a PDF for the featured image. That wouldn't be good. So you can restrict it using that field there. So you don't need to do in validators. It's just there. Um, and there we go. So we'll save that field. And then we're going to have long text, which is going to be the description, typically used for SEO purposes if you're going to share the image somehow. Um, I'm going to make this required as well. Save that one. And finally let's have some a rich text field now rich text is for our long form content our body text as it were and um, we're just going to leave that as it is there we go right let's save our model so here we are um, you might want to have different fields of course this is just an example of what you can have um, but for our pages i've defined these things so that's our model created let's go ahead and create a page so you'll see it will appear here pages see um, ungrouped and we haven't told it what group it's going to be in uh, let's just go to that and create a new entry here we are so um, this is the about 
us page. Um, and let's choose a featured image. Ah, I like yachts. So we're going to have, um, oh, it's not the yacht, is it? It's a clipper. But let's just have that for, for the sake of this demo. Um, description um, about our company. Description is usually a bit longer than that, but hey, never mind. Um, and then let's have some of our body text. Now I need to go and get some lorem epsom text for this one. Just bear with me whilst I do that a second. Um, just want to get something that's just going to give you an example of what um, you can do with the with the body field because it's rich text. There's lots of different options. Okay, here we go. So here's our general text, um, uh, and you can see you can do things like um, a heading here. And if you highlight that, just select it. You see you've got some different options. You make it bold, italics, and whatever. Um, uh, you can make it into a link, um, so you can add like that if you want to do that, or you can also um, let's get rid of that. Let's change it into a heading. Um, now, there's only the option to change it into a heading, not into a heading one, heading two, heading three, and that's because we or um, your your front end, your your engineering team will render that in the right order. Because um, it's a rich text field, um, um, we don't want you to, as authors, to worry about what level your heading is at because you, you don't really need to care about that. You just write your content and give it the headings you want. But as a user, when you're writing, you when you're reading content, it's it's quite important, especially for um, people with disabilities to um, visual impairments, etc., to be able to see the structure of the document in the right order. So um, H1s, H2s, H3s, heading threes, etc. So um, we use we leave that up to the development team to work out and we just tell you, you know, you can just tell them this is a heading, here we go. All right, we can also do some fun things like adding inline images, here we go. Uh, let's put our clipper there as well, just for the sake of, you don't have to upload it. Um, add a caption and then I'm going to say this page, here we go. There is our page. Um, now, just before I uh, wrap up. I just want to show you how you can then edit uh, this. So awesome company. I'm just going to edit that. Now, if I save this, see it's got version one here and published. If I save this, you'll see it go to version two, and of course you can go back and and forward and see the different versions that you've got, and also you can request changes and request reviews here, or you can delete the page with that menu there. Now, what we've got coming up um, is uh, is a new feature called Advanced Publishing Workflow Line. And watch out for that and attend our uh, community um, call on that because it's going to be really interesting. We're going to give a lot more options um, here for, for reviewing documentation and, and, and giving that um, a final polish before it's published and editing it, etc. So look out for that new feature that's coming up. All right, so that's our content. What we've looked at is how to create models and then how to populate that. Um, by creating pages. I hope that's been useful and uh, look forward to seeing you online.